Hello everyone. This time we will discuss how to block access from internet users to ISP modems. For example, we have an internet cafe business or a Wi-Fi hotspot, so customers can't open the IP modem of the internet source. Here I have two ways that we can use. The first method uses the Minitik user manager, while the second method uses a script in Winbox. First, we discuss the first method, which is using Minitik. Open Minitik and go to Configuration section then go to Site. This feature is not only to block ISP modems or internet sources, we can also use it to block unwanted sites. OK because our current goal is to block the ISP modem, so for example I name it block modem. For the site column, enter the modem IP, for example my ISP modem is 193.168.58.1. especially for Minitik users. Here there is an additional feature, which serves to select which Ethernet should not access the IP modem. For example I want all Ethernet or ports on the Microtik cannot access the IP modem. While in the block type section select IP, link and press OK. Then you have finished creating an access block to the ISP modem IP. Then your modem must be safe and cannot be opened by your internet users. Meanwhile, if you want to reopen modem access, please just delete the block here. Then you will be able to open IP modem again. So this is how to block a modem when using Aminity. I think it's quite simple and easy to understand. Now we will discuss the second way which can be used also for Aminity user manager users or non Aminity user manager users. Because here we use a script that is installed via Winbox, meaning that this general method can be used for all. Before you can use this script, please first adjust the DS address section with the IP modem you are using. After that please copy and paste into a new terminal via Winbox.
please check in the raw section. Later there will be additional new rules that function to block access to IP modems. Please check again, then the modem cannot be accessed. Meanwhile, if we want to reopen modem access, you can delete the rule or just disable it. Then your modem will be able to be opened again. Okay, the second way is also finished and can be used properly. Whichever method you want to use, feel free to do whatever you want. Keep in mind that this only blocks the IP modem from being accessible, so you can still connect to the internet as usual without any problems. That's all I can say, I hope this video can be understood well. If any of our friends need this tutorial, don't hesitate to share it with our friends. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to Zarane's channel. See you in the next video.